Hello, hello, this is Arcades, and welcome to another uh, how-to video here on Stormworks Build and Rescue. And uh, this time we're going to look at the RGB lights. So, uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully this will be quick, hopefully this is short, and give you things you need to look at to try to get these to work. Oh boy, this one's going to be a little bit interesting. Uh, yeah, so, hope you enjoy what you watch, hope you like what you see. If you do, remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment, tell me what you think, Helps out the channel immensely, and, uh, yeah. Let's get into these. Okay, so, what it is, is we have... We have the RGB lights, as you can see here. Now, their function is to allow you... You can basically get them to change to different colors. And show off, um, maybe something specific, like a warning light. I recently worked on my uh, oil refinery, and I had put some down so that it could indicate, you know, the status of a, you know, of a, you know, the status of the tank pressure or whatever. Well, it took me a little bit to figure it out. Like, I knew the basics of what they wanted you to do, but it took, it took me a moment to figure out actually how to apply that to the actual thing, and I'm just covering over what I went through. So, and what I figured out. So, uh, well, let's get into the basics. <clears throat> okay, first of all, we have two parts that are concerned with this. We have... <laughs> we have the RGB light. It says advanced light that can be controlled using a microcontroller. These three channels of composite input can be used to set the red, green, blue components of the light's color between 0 and 1. Light also operate in HSV where the three inputs correspond to the hue, saturation, value, brightness, of the color between 0 and 1. The colors, mode, and input channels can be customized by selecting this component with the Select tool. <clears throat> and we also have this, and it does pretty much the same things. Now, so what it's talking about is when you come in here and you select on these, you will have... All these things you can use here now the indicators can be named the lights cannot they have a mode selection which is RGB versus HSV RGB is you're telling it a specific number between 0 and 252 or 255 for that value but you're like wait it said 0 and 1 yes it did I will get to that in a moment. So just hang on with me for a second here. Okay. Now each, it has a selection here of red hue, green saturation, and blue value. What this is, it's saying, hey, when you pick your mode, which in this case is, you know, either RGB or HSV, and for this side, we're going to do RGB. The composite channel that feeds into it for that stat the whether it's the red or the hue or green saturation or the blue value this is the channel it's coming in on so and since there's three per block and you have 32 channels for the number side you can have up to 10 lights with two spare channels left over to do something else but yes yeah, so you can assign each of these values and then you can so you could set, you know, like this one to like uh, 10, 11, and, you know, 12. And you could have something that's talking to something 1, 2, and 3. And then another set goes on 10, 11, 12. And it will identify, okay, those are the channels I'm looking for and does this. And obviously, if you have multiple lights on the same thing around a creation, and they are reading that same, and you want them to all say that same thing, then they will all match it. They will match the channels they are looking for. Now, for the actual logics on these things, they have mainly the one that has the actual data is a composite. This is where the channels you assign at will go to. They also do have power to turn them on and off, but they don't have any regular data values. So it's just composite and the electrical. That's all you need to really work, uh, worry about. I'm running on infinite electric, so <laughs> for these demonstrations, that's why I don't have it hooked up. But uh, yeah, 
So that's on it. You got to have your data inputs to there. And these are number values that you want to assign. For the internal logic, it's pretty straightforward when you go to do it on the microcontrollers. However you want to do your input, all you need to do for the output is to take the values where you're coming at, get a write block, and just assign the channels. Because we already know that it's going to be on channels 1, 2, and 3. So I took a write block and I just added three channels to it. And channel 1, 2, and 3 in here. You can also take, obviously, these write blocks, you know, these write numbers. It is a write number. And you could use, you know, a uh, variable from node using a property tool into the node to say, hey, this is what channel this is going to be on. And then you can create the corresponding channel on the light itself in that method. And then you probably have like, you know, two more for the other two values. Like this, and you go RGB and assign their channels so that when you come out to here, you can say RGB and then assign the values in here or HSV, assign them that way. That'd be a more static item. Uh, so, yeah. <clears throat> or you could just not even bother with this at all, and it's just something within the microcontroller that changes those values in those specific channels. So, but this is at minimum what you need to work this. If you just want to make a simple one like I have here, just an RGB inputs to a micro with to a composite write number, give it three channels and one, two, three, and then go from there. Now the same thing applies to the lights as well. So now the thing is, is that, as I said, it goes through zero and one on the thing. So the problem is, is then how do you get the number for the colors? Well, RGB is a combination of three colors to give you a specific color. Now there's plenty of tools on the internet you can use to look for colors and such. In, but here on the... Um, but for the RGB, you can just simply go to your, you know, your custom colors and change them here. And then once you find a color you want, you can write down those three numbers. You know, let's do a wild number. Say like, yeah, let's do this right here. Okay, so we're going to take these values here, which is we have a 158 for red, 111 for green and 176 for blue. And so how do we translate those to a zero one perspective? Well, all we're basically looking for is a percentage because from zero to one, that's act for this game, that's essentially you're looking for a percentage. So the way you would do that in the case of the RGB is you would take, you would take the um, value that you want and you would divide it by the max. So example, we have 11, you know, 158, you know, we have those three numbers, 158, 111, and 176, and we divide each one by 255 because that is the max. Okay, and what I have come out with was that 158 is 0 0.61, 111 is 0 0.43, and 176 is 0 0.69. So those are our three values there that we're going to put in. Now, just for example, I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to put a start value onto the throttle so we can 0.61 for the R, for the G, we're putting in 0.43, and the B, 0.69. Spawn that in.
And obviously, it's a light, so it's not going to look exactly the same, but from right there to there, that looks pretty much like the light. Now, and that's pretty much how you would do it. You would take, you would take your, once you find your number that you want to use, and you can use an online tool, too, to find out the color you're looking for. All you got to do is take that number, get the RGB values, divide it by the max value for RGB, which is 255, and that will give you your number that you can then install in and change these around. Now, what about HSV? Now, HSV is a little bit different because it works on a color, it looks on, it works on 360 degrees. So if we take, so if I hit this, the hue, you'll notice nothing happens. Well, for here, your value is your brightness for this case. You also have saturation, which is how intense the light is, or the color is. And the hue is the actual color from 0 to 1, and it cycles through them all. 0 and 1 are the same because it's a circle. So by the time you come around full circle, you go from 0 0.99 and you would be back at 1, which would still be 0. So 0 and 1 are red. It literally takes the idea of a color wheel. So how do we work this one? Again, um, now I said there's online tools you can use. For example, I have this website right here. I went to, I just went to, you know, Google and I typed in HSV color code and I found this one coders tool that I actually enjoyed how it worked. Um, so you can pick your color. See, like I've already got a color put in right here. Okay, so I already have a code for a color in here for hex. This one uses, um, a hex one to change out so if you know the hex code for the number or you can literally in the case of this one you can actually just you know manually slide it around and then pull here whatever one you find that you should be able to pick your colors and all that that's up to you you will have to uh, figure that out on your own what you'll use but all you need to do, know is that in the end what you're looking for when you go to do this is you're looking for the HSV code. This is what you want right here. So we got 119, 100, 100. Okay, so we just want those at 100, so those will be fine. Now we need, to, this part is the part we need to look at for changing the actual color. So just like with the RGBs, we need to find the percentage of that, which is what is the max. Well, the HSVs, the hue is done in 360 degrees. So like I said, from zero to one, but from zero to 360. So with 360 degrees, you divide that number, which was 119 by 360. And that will give you a percentage of 33. So that being the case, I'm just going to go down here. We're going to go ahead and set the hue for the start value to 0.33. And these will now get set to 1 because they're at 100%. We'll spawn that in. You see? We have the green color. Now, you notice I'm not actually using the actual, even though I have the throttles here, I'm not actually using them directly. I mean, you can do that, but I want to simulate the idea that these were preset numbers that you have in your microcontroller that are changing these values around. So you can manipulate <clears throat> those colors so that you can create different scenarios. So like, for example, I have this truck here. It has... RGB for the tail lights. And what this will happen is when I get in here and I hit the brakes, 
you see the lights come on, right? Well, that's easy enough on own, but what if I want just operating lights? Right? Well, that's not just going to turn on. So you can see we got the RGB going and we got the duller red. Okay, so when I go to hit the brakes like before, now it lights up. Let go of the brakes and they go dim down back to the... Like that. Okay, so in the case of those tail lights, we're changing the value to reduce its brightness. So in the case of here, so it's just a case I'm going from what's like a 0.4 or you know something like this. I think I'm going like 0.7 so that way it's on and lit and visible and then when I hit the brakes it goes all the way up to 1. So you can use like threshold gates and switch boxes to change those values out. Now you can do the same thing here in a manner you know changing the different color values for R, G, and B to go directly to the color you want but you're gonna have to figure out what the individual brightness is and how to combine the three colors to create that. So each one has its advantage for using in each different situation. This will give you the precision of finding the color straight up if you can figure it out so you can switch between the three different colors. Say if you literally just want to go from, you know, blue and then a green or a red and you can do it in that manner. And the same thing here, you can just figure out where it is on the wheel and then you can be able to change the color to whichever you want. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so in summary, we went over the lights, the indicator, and the thing, what the mode switches were, what the channel listings were meant for, uh, how to find your color for each different style if you want to, Remember RGBs, you need to find the three different values and get them inputted in light. You need to convert them from a from their 255 to a percentage, which like I said is just dividing for RGB, it's dividing the number by 255. That'll give you your percentage for that value. Went over HSV, and again, in the similar situation, you have to find the color you want, divide each value by 360 because it is a wheel. So there you go. The um, And how you can sit there and find that color using some online tools. Just look up HSV color codes and should give you the direction you need. So, yeah. Hope you had a good time. Hope you enjoyed your watch. This is Arcades. You know the deal. You know the spiel. Have yourself a good day. Whee! I left at night.